What is up everybody? It's Tiz, your boy, Geek of Sneakers, back with another video. If you are new to the channel, I do sneaker and fashion content, so make sure to subscribe and join the Geek Gang family. I'm doing a giveaway at 5K while I'm giving away two $150 gift cards to two separate winners to any retail store of your choosing. Make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload. Like the video if you guys enjoyed it, and make sure to follow me on Twitter and IG at Geek of Sneak underscore welcome to vintage week video number three for today's video i want to talk about and show you guys how i style different types of vintage tees i want to go through a few outfits to give some ideas or a little inspiration onto how maybe you guys can style your vintage tees and there are many different types of vintage tees in terms of the category there's band t-shirts pop culture tees um what else sports tees etc so there's going to be eight different vintage tee outfits and every outfit will have a t-shirt in a different category so the first outfit will be on one topic of tees the next outfit will be on a different topic and so so on up until we get to eight outfits and eight different categories of vintage tees I hope that makes sense just to let you know six out of the eight tees I'm gonna show I actually got for $20 or less two of them I got from round two vintage so they were a little more pricey and I'll let you know which ones are from round two as I go through the outfits but if you haven't checked out the second to last video I did a video on where and how to buy trendy vintage clothing online for affordable prices and a couple of the tees I'm gonna show you guys in this video I also mentioned in that video where I got it from and the price so I would definitely check out that video if you haven't already but on to the first type of vintage tees we have band tees out of all the vintage t-shirts i have band tees i have the most of compared to the other types of tees i'm going to talk about the first outfit we have a 2001 stone temple pilots tee black denim that i bought from sears and distressed myself and metallic navy ones i've said before that i love putting certain color schemes or color blocking when putting together an outfit like having a dark top dark pants and something lighter for the shoes doing an outfit like that in my opinion really brings out any light colored shoes that you may be wearing but yeah i love the graphic on the STP tee. I really mess with how the graphic has deep shadows with the blue tones. It makes the pictures on a tee look very dramatic and it goes really well and it brings out the navy blue in the one. Something else I did was I cuffed the sleeves on the shirt. I typically do this whenever the sleeves on a tee are too long or too pointy or if I just prefer the look of the cuffs better. It really gives a different vibe to the t-shirt and the outfit as a whole. Next topic is still on music but instead of band tees we're gonna be talking about artist tees. Basically tees that have to deal with a single artist instead of a group or band because I feel like single artist tees create a similar but sort of still a different feel compared to band tees or group tees. So we got a 1994 Reba McIntyre tee, white packs and denim, and Golden Coast Authentic Vans. This is one of the tees I bought from Round 2 Vintage, and I thought it looked really well with the authentics. I wanted to bring out some more white to the outfit, seeing that Reba is wearing white in the picture, so I brought out the white denim. One thing I do sometimes when I'm putting together an outfit is I look for a color in the t-shirt or any top that I'm wearing that doesn't show up too much or too dominant, then try to bring that color out using another piece of clothing or a pair of shoes. In this case, the white is minimal on the tortie with the shirt that she's wearing and the white from her eyes. So I tried to bring that out with the white denim. Next topic is sports. So I put together an outfit using a Chicago Bulls 1998 championship tee, khaki packs and denim, and cement fours. When putting together this outfit, I thought the cement would go perfectly with the tee since the shirt is gray, and it pretty much has all the colors that match with the cements. Even the gold color and the graphic of the tee, I think, goes really nice with the shoes as the netting on my cements are starting to yellow, and the slight yellowing on the netting, in my opinion, goes really well with the graphic graphic of a tee and a pants. To add to the outfit, I put a yellow and black flannel from Fashion Nova. I feel like adding extra pieces to an outfit could add different vibes and feelings to the look, and I think it creates a whole new vibe just by adding the flannel. Fourth category we got are car tees. I got a decent amount of car and racing tees as I was super into NASCAR when I was a kid, and I was into almost every single racing game that came out in the 2000s like um, Need for Speed, the NASCAR series, uh, Burnout, etc. I pulled out a Graffiti Nights tee from 1996. I'm really into tees that have a lot of different and bright colors on it. So to put together an outfit, I again put on my Paxton white denim and French blue 7. I wanted to bring back out the white denim because I wanted to do an all white fit. So that's why I also brought out the French blue 7s. The different shades of blue on the 7s also go very well with the blue colors on the top part of the t-shirt and on the bottom with the blue car. The fifth category is pop culture or t-shirts that are a little more random. So I put on a 1999 
Bike Week tee. This is the second tee I got from Round 2 Vintage. And like I said before, I like looking for a color that's minimal on the top and bring it out using another piece of clothing. In this case, we got the blue eagle on the t-shirt. So I wanted to put on my blue stacked Paxson zipper denim. Also, I really like the tan colors on the t-shirt with the hints of red. So I brought out my cream CDG high top converse. And then to add some more blue to the outfit, I put on a denim jacket that I got from the thrift. I really love how this outfit all came together with the cream, blue, and red colors. Definitely one of my favorite outfits in this video. Next topic, we got wrestling. As a huge wrestling fan, I definitely need more vintage wrestling tees in the collection. We got a 1998 Stone Cold Steve Austin tee. As you can see, the portrait shot of Steve Austin is in blue with a lot of hints of a lighter blue. So I put on a pair of light blue distressed packs and denim. Then for the shoes, we got a pair of Vans Vault Old Schools in a black and white colorway to match the black and white from the shirt. Second to last category we have are cartoons. I threw on a Taz Looney Tunes tee, black packs and cargos, and aqua eights. Blue just so happens to be my second favorite color. And I love the way the blues on the tee really go with the black from the pants and the shoes. Also, the yellow writing on a tee brings out the shirt a lot as it's a mainly dark color. And the bright yellow kind of brings out the navy blue a little more. Since the tee has a pool of wind that Taz is in in a light blue and white, I decided to pull out my washed light blue denim jacket from Fashion Nova to bring out that light blue color even more. Now the last topic I want to pull out an outfit for are movie tees. So for the movie category, we have an Evita film tee, pack some khaki green pants, and black off-white zoom flies. I like how the khaki green pants fit well with the outfit, and my favorite part of the outfit is how the graphic tee has a baby blue background with the white light. And to bring out those colors more, we have the white laces on the shoes along with the baby blue zip tie. Then afterwards, I put on a khaki green bomber jacket from H&M to go with the khaki green pants. Plus the black hints on the bomber jacket goes really nice with the mainly black t-shirt and shoes. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. Also, if you have any ideas that you would tweak on any of the outfits I showed you guys today, let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear your spin on the outfits to get an idea on what your style is like. Also, as a reminder, my vintage tea collection video is going up on Sunday, so I hope to see you guys there. Again, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Make sure to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it, and make sure to follow me on Twitter and IG at Geek of Sneak underscore. Hope you guys keep rocking with your boy. It's been your boy Harry, aka Geek of Sneakers, aka Geek of Sneaks, aka Geek, aka G-O-S. I'll see you guys on Sunday. I'm out.